Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam and Johnny Bones, and today Johnny Bones has his power tools and I have some rocks because before we get started, we are going to build a rock tower. Let's try it out. together. I really, really want to build this rock tower, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on the internet and find out what I need to do to make this tower stick together. I'll be right back. So I found all the rocks that fell when I dropped my first tower, and I found out why it wasn't working. It turns out if you want to build something with stones or with brick, you need something to hold it all together. And that something is called mortar. That helps all of these rocks stick together so it can be nice and strong and not fall apart like my first tower. Now the mortar that you usually see in buildings is made out of a lot of stuff that is not easy to get a hold of and it's not very safe because if you ate a little bit of it, it would make you really sick. But there's actually a really easy way to make kid-friendly mortar and all you'll need is one of the basic essentials of life, at least for me, rice. Take your rice, put it in a blender with some water and blend it up until you get a nice gooey paste. Once you've blended up all of your rice and all of those little grains are crushed up, you'll find you have something very similar to mortar. It's this special glue that's gonna hold together your tower or your castle or whatever it is that you decide to create out of rocks. With our rice mortar, we have successfully built a rock tower. Now I'm gonna move this outside to dry and I hope the squirrels don't eat it while it's drying. It's a lot of fun to build things out of rice mortar and stones, but what does that have to do with our incredible bodies? Well, last week we talked about cells. Cells are the little building blocks of your body. Everything in your body is made out of cells. And just like bricks or stone, there needs to be something that holds it all together or else we'd literally fall apart. And that something is called laminin. Laminin is a cell adhesion protein, which is just a fancy way of saying that laminin makes all of our cells stick together so that we can have a body that stands up tall instead of falling apart. The thing that's most amazing about laminin is what it looks like. If you looked at laminin through an electron microscope, which is a machine that helps you to see the tiniest little things, you would see that laminin looks like a cross. And that's amazing because it's a reminder that God put in our very own bodies that he is always with us. And just like laminin helps our cells to stick together and not fall apart, because of Jesus' love for us. Jesus holds us together when life is hard and we have the worst days of our lives so that we know we will never fall apart. Colossians tells us that Jesus is before all things and he holds all things together. So when you go through hard times in your life and you don't know what's happening, remember that it is Jesus and his love for you that holds you together. Because of Jesus' love for you, you will only get stronger. You will not fall apart. Because just like laminin holds our bodies together, Jesus' love holds our hearts and our souls together. After all, your laminin and Jesus' love for you is all part of Incredible You.